everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making some Easter bunny buns and it's not going to be the traditional hot cross buns but a dim sum style bun. So let's get started. We're going to start this video by adding half a cup of milk, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of yeast and mix everything well. Just a pinch of salt one and a third cups of flour. Just gonna mix everything. Lightly flour your surface. And then take the dough out. You wanna knead this for about 12 minutes. Kneading dough is a great way of releasing any pent-up stress you have <laughs> from over the week. If your dough is still a bit too wet after about six minutes of kneading, you can try adding one to two tablespoons of flour to get it into a moldable format. <laughs> so after about 12 to 15 minutes of kneading, you should end up with a really nice and smooth ball like this. And right now I'm going to split the dough into two parts so that I can make two types of bunnies, a white bunny and a pink bunny. Sit and half like so. I'm gonna add some red food coloring onto this bowl. I'm done prepping the pink colored dough. I'm gonna use this to make some bunny ears later. And I'm gonna do the same with this. for the ears and section the rest into four. Then I've separated out all my dough into even sized pieces. I'm going to shape them. So what you want to do is you want to press inwards like this until you get a really nice smooth outer surface like this. You want to press downwards and I'm making mine slightly cylindrical because I want to make a bunny. There you have it. And you just repeat the same thing for all the other ones. You want to shape the edges like this and push it upwards so then your buns rise. Okay, so I have my buns here and I'm just going to add some ears onto them. You have a bunny like this. Or if you can't be bothered to to decorate, you can just do a simple thing where you cut the dough like that to make the bunny ears. That looks like a cute bunny and I like to flatten this a little bit. my buns to proof in the steamer. I'm gonna let it sit here for about an hour. The mantel buns have now puffed up to about one and a half times and we're just gonna go steam it now for 20 minutes. I'm going to add a cloth on top to absorb any additional moisture. Mm. 
So 15 minutes have passed and I'm going to turn off the heat and leave it as is for about 5 minutes. Uh, you do this so that your buns don't collapse after they've expanded due to the change in temperature. So 5 minutes and then I'll be back again. The buns are now done steaming and I'm going to check it to see how it looks. Da 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 Ding! Oh that's so cute! We have a chubby bunny here and then this really cute white bunny. I'm also going to try and air fry them. Pop them in the air fryer. So I air fried some mantau and I have some baked bunnies. <laughs> they look so cute. And now I'm gonna decorate them with some bunny eyes. I have a chocolate pen here, which I'm gonna use. And I have some condensed milk here, which we're gonna use and to eat with the mantap. So it's time Hello. to review the buns. We need to put some condensed milk. Looks very good. Oh my gosh! I'm looking forward to the air fried one. Should I eat a non air fried one first? Hmm. Good texture. Mm. I, uh, I always like mantel with condensed milk. So. This is the secret ingredient, it's not even the bread, is it? <laughs> mm. Oh, sticky. Cheers! <laughs> He's watching you eat. Mm. Mmm, this one's very good. Yeah, I think I like that. Mmm, me too. It kind of tastes like burger bun. I always say this, I fry it and then it just tastes like burger bun. Tastes really good. How would you rate it? A 10 out of 10. Air <laughs> fry 10 out of 10. Then tell if it came straight out of the steamer, probably 8 out of 10. It's got a little bit cold. <laughs> Quite dense in the moon. Yeah. No! <laughs> Fine. 7 out of 10. Oh, not bad, not bad. 7 out of 10. The air fried mantel looks like this, and it's like quite hard outside. <laughs> but the inside's still nice and fluffy. Nothing beats condensed milk. So that's if you it. enjoyed today's content, please like and subscribe, and see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm too good. So that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button for more content. And happy Easter everyone! I hope you are able to try out the mantau buns for yourself and to just make them at home and enjoy them. I'll see you guys in my next video.